Hey guys, it's Jan, Not A Real Farm. So I've had actually a couple of emails over the last couple of days ask me if there was any alternatives to having a greenhouse. Um, and there are, there are lots of alternatives to having a greenhouse if it's not something that you plan on having in the future. Uh, before I had greenhouses, I did a lot of sprouting. Uh, sprouting, obviously, if you look at the nutritional benefits from to sprouting seeds, are, it's very, very good. Um, I did sprouting for a very long time before I got into greenhousing and it did us just fine. Um, we topped a lot of our foods with sprouts. When I did hamburgers, you know, I would top the, the very last topping would be sprouts on top of that. And you can make your own sprouting packets and there's just so many seeds out there right now that you can sprout with. But the reason I like the Easy Green, I've had it for a really long time. Um, it's very reliable, but it's an automated sprouter. So essentially what happens with this, is you fill up a water reservoir um, and it takes actually quite a bit of water and this will run for about three days by itself because you plug it in and it comes with five, one, two, three, four, five different trays. Now I just pulled this out of storage so I gotta clean it up a bit, but um, it comes with five different trays and then what you do is you just basically take your seeds, you put them into the trays and then, let me just turn it around so you can see the front because it's, it's a fairly big unit. You would basically lift the door off of this, put them in like this, into the sprouter, and you can fit all five trays in here. And then what you would do is you would actually just close it back up and then plug it in. There's no on or off button, you just plug it in. And then what happens is this sprouter will spritz your sprouts. There's too many S's in here. <laughs> spritz your sprouts basically every, about, about every 20 minutes. So some of the sprouts that you may get, your seeds, may actually sprout within 24 hours. Uh, some other seeds that you may have may take a couple of days to sprout, but this automatically basically spritzes them and allows them to sprout for you. So there is other alternatives rather than having uh, a greenhouse. If that's not in the cards for you, that's just the way that it is. Um, but I can tell you that I've had success with sprouting. I definitely recommend it. It is nutritious. It does help. Uh, get greens for you in the winter time. And you know what, if it's something that, you know, you find that is useful for you, then look for something that will help you in terms of getting that nutrition in for the winter. So you don't necessarily have to have an automated sprouter. It is nice just because you fill it up, you know, and let me tell you five trays, you know, these hold a fair amount of seeds and there's only three of us in here and we cannot polish off five trays of seeds or sprouts uh, in the winter time. So if that is too much, like this can be an, end up being too much, you can either take out a few trays or you can do something like, um, I think I have a Victorio sprouter as well, which is just three trays around, um, it's round plastic trays. And then what you can do is you can actually just sprout in those and you come and you manually rinse those and take your sprouts from there. Now, basically what will happen is this actually comes with a drain tube and the drain tube gets connected into the sprouter itself. And so you have to have like a bucket or something like that where it can drain off a little bit of um, some of the water. But other than that, you're just gonna pre-fill it, turn it on and walk away. And that's the feature that I really like about the sprouter. Like I said, I've had it for about seven years um, and it's never let me down. And it actually, I always overfill it. And we end up having so much sprouts. And a lot of the times, like I said before, I had a greenhouse. This was the alternative that I used to make sure that we had enough, you know, and, and of course, there's so many different seeds you can sprout. We had onions, we had radishes, um, cabbage sprouts, sunflower sprouts, you name it, we had it all. Um, my husband doesn't actually top them with anything. He just eats them, you know, right out of the sprouter. So don't give up. If the, green, if the greenhouse thing is not working out for you, it's not something that maybe in the cards this year, next year, whatever, try sprouting because there are a lot of nutritional benefits to sprouting that will actually help you get in all that extra, you know, vitamin content that you need for the winter. Now, I didn't, of course, fill this all the way up. As you can see, there's, there's not really a whole, whole lot of water in there, but I'm going to plug it in just so you can actually hear, um, you know, what it sounds like when you plug it in. So I just plugged this in. I'm just gonna move a little bit closer so you can hear it. It's super quiet. So
So I've seen people set these up uh, wherever there's a sink. Now I have a secondary kitchen in the basement, so this is where this is going to be going. Sprouts do not need sunlight, so you don't have to worry about having them near a window. So if you've got a sink, I've seen people set them up in bathrooms where you know it's set up high enough where the drainage, the drainage tube will actually go into your sink. So guys, like I said, sprouting is another secondary option for you if it's something where you feel you know, that maybe a greenhouse isn't necessarily for you. And that, that's a lot of the uh, information I've been getting from some people as well is not sure what size to get or sometimes a greenhouse isn't for them. And as you can see, it's starting to spritz right now onto the, just onto the plastic. So you can actually leave this as long as you have it filled up all the way for about three days and it will do all the spritzing. And when you come back, you'll actually have some really great sprouts. And now some of them, of course, like I said, you do not need to leave for that long. Some of them you do. But um, if you do have an opportunity, look for an automated sprouter because it just makes life so much easier. You just basically put it in, walk away, you know, and come back in, in 24 hours or 48 or 72 and you have your sprouts. So I just wanted to share that with you guys so you could see the alternatives to having a greenhouse. All right, guys? Thanks very much for joining me today. Hope everyone is doing well. Thumbs up if you like the video and see you soon.